you got Raekwon Davis at the table picking over the chicken. Christian Barber want to eat all the chicken. And Raekwon just picking over it. He vanished, man. He vanished. <laughs>
three punts against LSU for 146 yards. He averaged 48.7 yards per punt, and he had two of his boots travel in excess of 50-plus yards. He bounced back. Because why? He's the best at his position, and you got to put your best on the field. I said this before, and after me saying that, Nick Saban put Ty P right out here. So now, I'm going to say this again. In terms of the defensive line, you got to put your best on the field in terms of moving forward. And the best on the field is Christian Barmore. The best in that rotation. The best on that defensive line is Christian Barmore. Now, if LeBron Ray was healthy, then I may have to recant that statement because LeBron Ray is that dude. But with LeBron Ray down... Christian Barmore is the best player on this defensive line rotation, and he needs to start. He is one of the best players on the defense, period. One of the best players on the, he's, he's arguably one of the best players in the defense, period. But in terms of just the front line, just the defensive line, he is the best player on that defensive line in terms of talent, but not just that, in terms of production for what he's been given. Christian Barmore, when you talk to players about him, and I have spoken with to a number of players about him, I've always been hit with athletic, motivator, electric, energy. He sets the tone. He sets the tempo. He sets everything up for this defense when he is on the field he picks everybody up when he's on the field it feels like we hit an extra gear and this comes from players on that team so like i mentioned about kaho in the ask steven segment when you got your brothers your teammates saying this about you At some point, the coaching staff has to wake up and go, we got to start this kid. We got to play this kid. Because when we, with the little bit of reps that we give him, and he's out here producing like this, imagine if we actually really start him, what he can do. Because I'll be honest with you, Raekwon Davis does not have it. I'm sorry, he don't have it. For him to be as big as he is, 6'7", 312 pounds, the biggest man on the field. In the last two years, the brothers vanished. I don't know if we have to create the situation from 2017 where he gets shot in the leg at bar 17 prior to the season starting. I don't know if him getting shot in the leg woke him up. I don't know what happened with that ordeal. All I know is 2017, I saw a beast of a Raekwon Davis. That's all I care about. It's all beast. Ten tackles for loss. Eight and a half sacks. Couldn't stop him. And the man completely vanished since that point. And in the last two years, he has struggled to put up, what, two sacks? Maybe three? Three and a half tackles for loss? Struggled. Completely vanished. Completely, utterly has disappointed. Raekwon Davis is keeping guys like Christian Barmore from sitting at the table and eating food. I mean, God rest her soul, but my grandmother didn't play around when you didn't eat your food. When she slayed over a hot stove and put a hot meal in front of you and you didn't eat, you got your butt whooped, you got a stern lecture, and then she took your food, gave it to somebody else, and then she'll make you feel real bad. I didn't slayed over a hot stove. We got kids in Africa starving. We love this food. We'll fight over this food. And you go, go on, get out of my face. You're sitting here wasting food. That's what she did, man. That's what she did. And you got Raekwon Davis at the table picking over the chicken. Christian Barber want to eat all the chicken. And Raekwon just picking over it. He vanished, man. He vanished. Christian Barmore needs to be on this field. When you look at Christian Barmore, he reminds you of uh, guys like Marcel Darius, guys like Damian Square, Jesse Williams, players like Ashawn Robinson, Jaron Reed, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Dalvin Tomlinson, guys of whom uh, they play with the sense of passion urgency they knew 
how important the moment was and they went out there and they attacked the moment. They got after the quarterback. They stuffed the run. They energized the crowd. They energized the team. They knew how big playing for Bama was. And when I look at Christian Barmore at 6'5", 310 pounds out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he brings these exact same traits. I go back to the LSU matchup. He had two tackles, shared a tackle for loss, shared a sack, had one quarterback hurry. But I want to go back to a particular third down that he had. One of the few times in the game that Alabama's defense got stops on third down, Christian Barmore was involved. It was Alabama was trailing 33 to 20. Third quarter, 33 to 20. It's third and four. Joe Burrow is trying to hit Jamar Chase on a six-yard dig route. Christian Barmore is in on this play. He comes flying through the line, gets his hands up in the air to obstruct the passing lane, the view of Joe Burrow, pushes the man on the ground, causes the pass to fall incomplete, and when he gets up and starts screaming, just going crazy, and the place loses its mind inside Brian Denny. The crowd fed off that. And that stop right there turned around to the offense to where Tua Tagovailoa drove it down the field, and I believe that was the drive to where he found Najee Harris on the 15-yard touchdown catch to cut the lead 33-27. to Christian Barmore made that type of a play on defense, and he's rarely out there with the exceptional third down. Imagine what he can do if the coaching staff just turns him loose on college football. Imagine for a moment. This season, when you look at tackles for loss, sacks, quarterback hurries, making those negative plays, affecting the opposing offense, getting it behind the eight ball, as Nick Saban likes to say, the most effective guy on the defensive line is the right shirt freshman in Barmore. Barmore leads the defensive line in tackles for loss with three and a half. He leads the, t- he leads the defensive line in sags with one and a half. He shares the team lead in quarterback hurries. He shares the, the defensive line lead in quarterback hurries with three. The dude, regardless of, mo- of minimum reps, makes the most out of them and he has the most production. He is by far the best player on this defensive line. And then going back to the Bama factor, Coach Saban, you got to get your best on the field and let him work. You did it for Ty P. Ryan. You put him out there, you see how different, how much better the potting has gotten. Now it's time as you move forward and you look at Mississippi State this weekend, it is time to start. It's been time to do this, but now more so than ever, start Christian Barmore. Best player, hands down, on your defensive line. Time has started. Time is now. Got to put the kid out there. That's going to take us to our next break here on In My Own Words. But as always... Got to give a shout out here to our new sponsor, that being Otoro Hibachi. Our next sponsor comes to you from our friends at Otoro Hibachi. You want absolutely delicious sushi, hibachi, and takeout? Our friends at Otoro Hibachi are located inside the University Mall Food Court in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Delivery is also available on Crimson To Go and on Waiter, tell them that Touchdown Alabama Magazine sent you. So check out Otero Hibachi. Great atmosphere, great food, great people. Go in there, check them out. Tell them that the guys at TDAM sent you, and they will definitely get you squared away. When we return here on the other side of the break, we will dive into checking out the uh, the mailbag here. You're listening to N. My own words. What's up, 
love college football fans, you can catch the hottest show in the streets. That being In My Own Words, the podcast, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Subscribe to Touchdown Alabama magazine for the best in Tide football.